Hello, 5D lifestyles in effect. I know it's been so long. This is a video I've wanted to put out for a while. Why? Because I think it's relevant. If not the most important thing for mushroom growing is a laminar flow hood. What is a laminar flow hood? You know, back in the day, people used to use glove boxes. The whole idea to grow in mushrooms, y'all, you're growing fungus. You don't want to grow molds or bacteria or other stuff. The laminar flow hood, basically the idea is that it eliminates other stuff out of the air and purifies. So it is pretty much the most important thing to the mushroom operation. Pressure cooker, also very important. And so we're inside my clean room. Just being in a clean room in a lab is not enough, y'all. We have to get it cleaner. And so the most important space inside my lab, the whole reason why my lab is there is that little bit of space in front of my hands, you know, about the foot or so, or even less in front of my hands while I'm working, because that's the space that's truly, truly clean. And that's where all the transfers happen. Transferring from Petri's to Petri's to test tubes to grain blocks from grain blocks to final fruiting blocks. It all happens in the space between the HEPA filters on my laminar flow hood and my hands. My dirty, dirty hand. No, just kidding. My hands are covered with rubber gloves and they're periodically alcohol sprayed, but still, it's just not enough. So that space is in between. So basically, laminar flow is like a fancy scientific word for like parallel air currents flowing parallel to a surface. But really, you know, I mean, that is what's happening. But the important thing here is that it's being air being pushed through extremely efficient particle air filters. 99.999% efficient to be exact. So it's essentially sterilizing the air so it gives you a clean space to work with. And they have found laminar flow hoods to be better than glove boxes. The idea behind glove boxes is you just nuke everything inside this glove box and you work in stagnant air. But they found it a lot better just to push clean air over a surface. I like it. Basically the technique occurs just I just got to think of myself as dirty and everything in front of me, in front of the flow, upwind of me, if you will, is clean.